Hey guys, how's it going? So if you guys haven't been living under a rock, then you guys know that Kobe Bryant passed away just a couple days ago in a helicopter crash, which is just awful, awful news. I grew up playing sports and I really didn't get into video games until after high school, but going through high school and all throughout grade school and stuff, I played sports, I played basketball. I was actually the basketball team captain, um, for the varsity high school team that I went to not only him, but also Me being a father the fact that uh, His daughter was lost as well. is just a huge hit the the loss of life is really the most impactful to me personally So in light of recent events, I've decided to make a Kobe Bryant tribute keyboard lighting design for you guys what this design is is it is a lakers themed design transitioning between purple and yellow and while the color on the keyboard is yellow it will show the number 24 on the right side of the keyboard and while the keyboard is purple it will show the number eight on the right side of the keyboard it also will spell out his name kobe during one color and when it transitions to the next it spells out Brian and I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do this design I also will have a download link in the description below if you guys want to download this design and have it on your own keyboards so if you want to learn a little bit about Razer Synapse and Chroma Studio then stay tuned I'm going to show you guys step by step how I made this design please if you like the video hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys don't miss out on future Razer keyboard lighting designs. We're going to get right into this design. This is the Kobe Tribute. All right, guys. So here is how I made my Kobe Tribute design. The so first thing you want to do at the top of your screen is click these three dots and click add and this will create a new design. So here it's gonna pop up with a fresh brand new layout and it's gonna have a spectrum cycling layer on it. What I do is I double click on any of the affected keys which will highlight all of the effects and I hit delete just to erase it. And what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a wave layer. So click wave on the bottom left and then you can delete the spectrum cycling layer. So with this wave layer, I'm gonna make sure I have that selected and I'm going to select all of my keys on the inner part of my keyboard right here. I'm gonna click on my color dropdown and I'm going to choose a three node pattern, which is this one right here. So it's going to give you a center node and two outside nodes. And the first thing we're gonna do is click on this middle node add a new node and then drag it close to that and we're going to make these two new nodes touch each other but we want these two to be right in the middle kind of like this on the right side my far right two nodes are going to be yellow and my far left nodes are going to be purple so i'm just going to choose a random purple here I, on this color chart so I'm gonna go with this right here and I'm just gonna copy this hex code that I just found and I'm gonna paste it into the left node. So I have the left side being purple, the right side of my gradient bar being yellow. And that looks good right there. I'm gonna click off of that little window and I'm gonna change my speed down to eight. And I'm also gonna change my angle down at 180 degrees. And I'm also going to change my width percentage to 400%. And then I'm going to check this split option right here. Okay, so this is the base layer for the keyboard design itself. So now that that first part's done, what we're gonna do is we're going to right click on our wave layer that we made, and we're going to duplicate that layer. And let's rename this top layer right here to Kobe. With this new Kobe layer, what we're going to do is we're going to double click to select all of our selected keys right here. And I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna deselect the shape of my 24 number. So now you can see which keys right here I deselected, they're not highlighted. And I'm just gonna delete all the other keys. 
So now all of my affected keys currently for this whole effect layer is just the number 24 that you see right here. With these keys selected right here, I'm gonna click on my color drop down, and I'm going to actually delete the purple, the far left purple node, and this inside purple node I'm going to make invisible, just like that. So now we only have a yellow right side color for this gradient. And what we're going to do for the nodes is we're going to paste in that purple that we copied earlier, and then on this node as well. So now when the background goes to yellow, you see a purple 24 in there. And we're gonna duplicate the original wave layer we made before again. And with this new wave, we're going to make it Bryant, just like that. With this new Bryant layer, I'm going to, once again, double click my keys to select all of the keys. And I'm gonna hold control, and I'm going to select out the shape of the number eight. just like that and hit delete again. So now I only have the number eight selected on this whole wave layer, just like this you see here. So now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm gonna click on my color drop down, and I'm gonna delete out the yellow side. So the far right node I'm gonna delete. This inside yellow node I'm going to make invisible. So we only have a left side of this gradient and I'm gonna change the color of these two nodes to yellow. And hit save. So now when the keyboard's yellow, it will have a 24 on there. And when the keyboard changes to purple, you have a yellow eight. And now we're gonna get into how I spelled out his name on the keyboard. So with the Kobe selected here, I'm going to click on this layer and I'm going to select one of my keys that I already created an effect on. And I'm gonna copy that by hitting Control C. And then I'm gonna select my K key and I'm gonna Control V to paste that on there. So you can see this K key is now doing the same thing that the number 24 is. I'm gonna click on my color gradient and I'm just gonna grab this color gradient and I'm just gonna pinch it in a little bit like so and so we have three nodes here we have an invisible one a purple and another purple we're gonna make this other outside node also purple or invisible we're gonna make the outside node invisible so you have one purple node in the middle covered by two invisible nodes and so this is going to highlight the K key whenever it goes to yellow. So I pull it away from the sides and I'm gonna start just like this. So I'm gonna spell out Kobe's name. Right now the K looks good and I'm gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna click on this K key, copy that effect and paste it over the O. And with this O selected, I'm gonna click on my color drop down. I'm gonna drag out this invisible node, drag out this purple node I'm gonna copy that purple one, drag it in, drag it in, and drag it in. I'm gonna close that all in. With this done, I'm going to delete the outside node and make this purple node invisible. So now, what that basically did, what I just did with that whole sequence is I moved all of these nodes over to the left one node position. And what that does is it spell, creates the spelling for his name. So you can see when it goes to yellow, the K will light up with purple, and then the O will light up with purple afterwards. So it goes K and then O, just like that. And you're gonna do that, you're gonna just sidestep this until it spells out Kobe. So now I've finished the Kobe part of the design so you can see when it switches to yellow it will spell out K-O-B-E, and that's all I have left for the Kobe part. Now we're gonna switch over to the Bryant part. I'm gonna click on the Bryant layer, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna copy my affected key that I did for the 24, Control C on that, and I'm going to paste that over my letter B, and now we're gonna do the same thing with this B selected. We're gonna click on this color drop down 
and we're just going to pull this in away from the sides a little bit and pull this over I'm gonna make this outside yellow one invisible and then I'm just gonna close in this yellow right here so here is going to start our Bryant part and we're gonna do the same thing so copy what you made for the B paste it on the R click on this color drop down pull everything to the left you can hit this addition to copy that yellow pull everything back in there you can actually delete out this yellow one now and just slide that over so this is going to do the R and you're just gonna do this until you spell out Bryant so I finished the Bryant part and now you can see when it goes to yellow it says Kobe and when it goes over to the purple it will spell out Bryant now I'm gonna get into what I did for the peripherals so for the peripherals you can right click on this wave layer the original one we made and duplicate that layer and I'm just gonna rename this layer to peripherals and now I'm going to select all of my other lighting zones on my other devices just by holding control and selecting out all of my other lighting zones this looks good right here I'm gonna hit paste but with that pasted in there you see it messes with the keyboard lighting colors so I'm gonna click on my color drop down and I'm going to change this very last digit by one value so I'm gonna change it from F to E so now by changing that you can see the keyboard doesn't get all messed up and now I'm going to actually copy this effect and I'm gonna paste that over my mouse and I'm gonna do the same thing I'm going to click on my drop down and I'm gonna change that last value by one as well so I'm gonna change it from an E to a D so I'm gonna scroll wheel in here a little bit on my mouse and I'm going to select my scroll wheel and I'm going to flip these two colors that we have in here that just adds a little color variance to my mouse itself With this new peripherals layer you want to make sure you select your keyboard zones and hit the delete key that way you're not covering up what you did with the Bryant and Kobe layers if you guys have a Huntsman Elite or you have a Firefly mouse pad, I'm going to show you guys what I did for that. So with this original wave layer selected, I'm just going to zoom in here on my keyboard once again. And I'm going to select the left side of my keyboard just like this. I'm going to click on my color drop down. Choose a three node pattern like this. I'm just going to drag that over there. I'm going to paste in my purple. I'm gonna hit this addition to copy that. So we have a small section of purple here and my outside nodes I'm going to make yellow, just like this. And I kind of made like a three section gradient here. So you got yellow, purple, then yellow. Just like this, I'm gonna click off of that. I'm gonna change my speed to five and I'm gonna angle my left side of my keyboard I'm going to angle that down at 180 degrees. That looks good. I'm going to hit save. So I actually forgot to attach my wrist rest. So I'm going to put that on real quick. So make sure you copy this left side of your keyboard and you can paste it on the wrist rest as well. So I'm just going to paste it right on there like that that whole left side and I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it on the bottom key sections just like this paste that on there and I'm gonna change my angle to 90 degrees and I'm gonna copy that paste it on my right side make sure you don't select your media key here paste the effect on there angle up at zero degrees copy that and then paste it in the top and I angled that over at 270 so you can see you kind of have a purple and yellow pattern going around your keyboard likewise with the firefly what I did is I reversed 
the pattern. So with my top, I pasted what I did on the other side in here and I'm going to reverse this angle at 90 degrees. But I'm also going to make this a little bit different than my keyboard because I don't want it to be in sync with that one and mess up the pattern. So I'm going to select my color drop down and change the last value by one value. And then I'm going to copy this effect that I put on the top and continue around my mouse pad. So angle down on the right, uh, 270 on the bottom. Last but not least, I'll do zero degrees on the left side. Two more really simple things that I did for this design is I'm going to create a reactive layer. So I'm gonna click reactive. And with this new reactive layer, I'm going to select all of my clickable keys like this. And I'm going to select my color drop down, and I'm going to choose white. So six F's as a hex code and hit save. You can do your mouse as well if you want. So now whenever I click on a key, that key will be white for a while. I'm actually going to double click on this and make sure that it disappears slowly. That way it's on the keyboard for a while. So now whenever you touch a key, it will be white for a bit. And the last thing I'm going to add is a audio meter. So I'm going to select my audio meter and I'm going to choose my top row of keys, just my F keys. And I'm going to click on my, I'm going to click this auto button just cause I think it looks a lot better. And I'm going to keep the decay right in the middle, click on my color drop down, and I'm going to choose this two color option here. And for this on the left side, I chose an invisible node. And on the right side, I chose white. And then I just drug this in a little bit that way. Music doesn't have to absolutely be blaring for you to be able to see the white. So now when you get audio, as the audio increases, your F keys will turn white and get a brighter white as it goes on. And that is everything you need to know about how I made this design. With the 13th pick in the 1996 NBA draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Kobe Bryant from Lower Marion High School in Pennsylvania. Long run out by Kobe Bryant. Oh! What did I just see? It's all what Kobe does best, and that's what Kobe did to the field. It was a sensational play. But when you get beat on that, you just go to the locker room and say, I couldn't have done anything about it. And he clearly got it off in time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was kind of a long one, but if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe and bell icon. That way you guys don't miss out on future Razer keyboard lighting designs. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any ideas for upcoming designs that you would like to see. You can also contact me on my social media accounts, Twitter, Instagram, and I even stream on Twitch every once in a while. Please jump in. Tell me what you want to see, and I'd love to say hi. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video.